Hello, Alex with Lunker City, showing you a few ways on how to rig the four and a half inch Sluggo. So the first way that we're going to show is with a jig head. I'm going to choose the Prolite jig head again. Again, we have the balls and we also have the footballs. I'm using a quarter ounce football for this one. Uh, again, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off about a quarter of an inch from the head nice flat spot so I can start. And I'm going to, again, the top of the bait, try to get the angle for you guys to see. There's actually lettering on the top. It says baby sluggo and pat patent. So you're gonna use those letters to line up where you want that hook to come out of the bait. So as I line up the bait and I look, I say, okay, let me try to really get a good angle for you guys here. So right about the U in slug, is where I want it to come out. So I'm gonna put the hook point into the nose of the bait. I'm gonna use these two fingers as I go down the center of the bait to make sure that the hook stays centered. I don't wanna be going left and right so that it comes out crooked. So you're gonna push the hook point into the nose. You're gonna use your two fingers to make sure that it continues to go down the body straight and center. And then when you get to the point where you want the hook point to come out, push it out again, make sure it comes out the center of the, the top of the bait, push that up and you'll actually see that's pretty good, but I can probably make it a little bit straighter. So I'll push that down and push it back out and you can actually just restart it again and work your way down, come out where you want it to come out, push the nose up and now it is nice and straight and flat and centered. So. That's option number one. Option number two is to throw it on a drop shot. So I have here the one aught VGB drop shot hook. This is the bigger of the two sizes. This is what it looks like right here. So the reason I'm opting for the one aught instead of the number two is because this is a little bit bigger bait, a little bit fatter head, and I want to have enough room when I nose hook this uh, so that the hook is exposed and the fish can get hooked easily. So you just putting it right through the nose, coming right out the top, right in the center. And just like that, nice and easy. I have a quarter ounce Bakudan lead drop shot weight that I'm using for this drop shot setup. So that's option number two. And I'll just show you on the front camera here what that looks like. So you have the one knot, which is the bigger size VGB drop shot hook on the four and a half inch sluggo all the way down about 12 inch liter down to a quarter ounce Bakudan drop shot weight. So that's option number two. Option number three is to rig it weightless. So you have the option of actually using a two aught Texposer, or if you wanted to, you can also use the three aught. So uh, I'll show you both. And if I line up the bait right here, you have the two aught size, which I think fits pretty nicely. The three inch size is a bit bigger and it's going to sit a little bit further down the bait. Now, once you get to the point where the hook is going past those two indents or slits in the uh, body of the sluggo, you really start to hinder the action of the bait. So I'm gonna opt for the two aught, but you can use the three aught if you want to. So same thing, line up the hook along the side of the body and you want it to come out. It looks like right about the G and the word slug at the top of that, try to get the right angle for you guys so you can see. So right about the G and slug. So put the hook of the point into the nose of the body of the bait. You want it to come out. So push it, push it just past the, just past the barb. Make sure that it comes out the center of the bait. Again, top down view, make sure it comes out the center. You don't want it coming out the sides. Push it up to the top of the hook, do a 180 turn where the offset is and you'll actually see the nose of the hook, the eye of the hook is hidden and that's okay. You want the nose of the hook going over the knot of the eye and it actually protects the knot of that, um, the, the knot on your hook. So line that up, you then go through the center of the belly again and come out the center of the top. And that is what is going to give you a nice straight bait. You'll see the top, Try to, try to get a good angle for you guys. The top, the top of the hook is coming out the center. And when it goes through the belly, it's going 
in the center and out the center, and that's what's gonna give you a nice straight rig. And then you can also, if you want to, take the hook point right there. You can take that hook point and you can actually put, pull the plastic forward and push that hook point into the body a little bit, and that's gonna give you a true weedless setup. And what happens is when the fish eats it, it compresses the bait and exposes the hook. So those are three different ways you can rig the four and a half inch sluggo.